So a couple of days ago I discovered I could ride a bike. I would definitely recommend a bike ride as soon as you feel able. Just to gently get, like with a low impact, get the leg moving again, get the muscles exerting a little force, get the blood flow, use that lymphatic pump to get some swelling down a little bit. So healthy, man. So this is week seven now, and I'm at the athletics track, and I wanted to just come here, start running um, on some open space. I'm not going to be doing anything fast. My hips are feeling quite tight, so I'm going to set up some hurdles, get some mobility drills done. Um, and yeah, just a gentle jogs to warm up, see how that feels, and then um, if that feels all right, I'm gonna just do some strides, like like 60 meters or something like that. Um, yeah, I just wanna get moving today. I'm not gonna push myself or anything. We'll see how it feels. So finished for today, um, it felt alright, I didn't push it too hard obviously, but yeah the only thing that really hurt was slowing down, um, there's a lot more force going into the knee when you're decelerating, but um, yeah I'm going to come again next week, build on that again, and nearing full recovery really, just got to get some strength back. To be honest, I think it's just over the fossil. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I heard that one? So we're about week eight now. I'm here at the park today doing a bit of movement at Capoeira. Um, yeah, I would say I'm about 85, 90% there. It still gets a little bit sore and uh, my right leg still isn't, still isn't as strong as my left, but I'm getting there. So I'm learning it's definitely not a linear recovery uh, process. Certainly the first six weeks I made heaps of progress, going from pretty much um, couldn't use my right leg at all to jogging. So that was wicked, but progress has definitely slowed so I've got to be patient and not over exert myself and just make sure that I'm looking after it um, not doing too much which is a challenge I think if this had happened 10 years ago my recovery would have been a different story to summarize what have I learned as you can imagine it's been a bit of a journey like mentally and physically I've learned a lot about the body and how it reacts to injury um, what good things to do what are bad things to do and mentally, um, yeah, it's been a bit tough. Like, obviously, it took away my freedom for a little while. I went from training about four times a week to not being able to do anything. Um, on top of the whole lockdown situation, like, I couldn't drive. Most things were shut. But, yeah, you just got to keep it moving, keep on top of it. Um, I had a job to do, I had a challenge. So, yeah, overall, it's been a positive experience, I would say. And... In a sense, I'm kind of grateful for it. So yeah, I'm just going to carry on. Um, carry on with the mobility work, carrying on with the strength work. I can nearly bend my leg all the way, um, but not quite. So there's still a bit of work to do there. And yeah, just strengthening. Gyms are still shut, so I can't squat or use any equipment. But um, we just got to improvise. I'm definitely going to be wearing knee pads next time I get on that longboard. That whole thing happened far too easily. I don't want a repeat of the same injury. Once is enough, definitely. So I hope 
I've communicated um, some useful things to you, things to do for rehab, um, different approaches to take what's worked for me. That was the whole point of this video series. I'm also a fan of the barefoot approach to movement. I feel like our bodies weren't designed to have these big bulky things on our feet. Um, they separate us from the ground so we don't get the feedback from the ground. Um, they don't require as much foot strength and that just frees up the chain and can lead to other problems. Um, so I've bought these shoes, these Vivo Barefoots, and they're basically trying to take you as close to barefoot as possible. For movement, for running, um, so far, I, think, I feel like they're really good. And especially at this time during my recovery, um, I felt like seeing that I've effectively got to learn to use my leg again, um, now's the best time to do it right. <clears throat> so I've been spending a lot of time in these, in walking. They kind of force you to do everything with the biomechanically perfect technique. So I've noticed when I've walked for like a couple miles in them, my knee starts to get tired. So I'm obviously using my knee in a way that's not used to and building up strength there. With running, it forces you to run on your toes and doesn't let your foot roll around like a lot of the big cushion shoes do. So if any of you are feeling a similar thing, I would definitely recommend them. But I, think, I feel like now is a good time to end because as I said, it's kind of at the point of diminishing returns. So you're not going to see such huge increases in recovery. I think it's probably going to be another two months before I'm fully back in action, if not more. But whatever it is, I'll ride with it. I welcome any questions. It'd be good to interact with you. Like if, you if any of you have done a similar injury, if any of you want any advice, <clears throat> I'm always here. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed.